If you want to take your life to the next level in 2024, start doing these three habits. Face your fears head on. This is something that we have to learn very early on. Facing your fears is simply as just going talking to that girl that you want been wanting to talk to. It's about taking that trip that's always in the back of your head but you haven't done it yet. It's about taking that cold plunge, going into the sauna, doing something that scares the shit out of you right now. What that's going to do is it's going to help build callus. When you do shit that scares you, something that you're scared of, man, you take quantum leaps towards your goals. For me, like it was like cold water. I was super scared of cold water for a long time. And within days, completely overcame that fear. It's just all in our mind. It's actually not so bad when we actually experience something that we're fearful about, whether it be, you know, get, getting on a new diet. People have such a hard time just committing to something, right? When it's like, oh, I'm going to start a diet. I'm going to start next year. Next year comes around and they just can't give up their old habits. There's, they have books laying around about dieting. They've taken courses. They've done, done, done this, done that. But all they have to do is just literally remove things from their life. But facing your fears, that's what's going to help you break your self-limiting beliefs. How do you know what you're capable of if you don't even test yourself? That's the number one thing. Secondly, never give up. I've been reading, I read uh, Think, Think and Grow Rich, and I've been listening to Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret. It talks about persistence. Persistence is just another word for faith. When you persist, you're believing in yourself. Giving up is easy. It's like, hey, I'm done. Ah, I can't do that, you know? Persistence and never giving up is what separates successful people from unsuccessful people, healthy people from unhealthy people. Because like success, like success, health, and all of that stuff, it's like, it's like a graph like this. For, for a certain time, it's flatlined, but then it picks up the momentum. So when you think about like successful people and, and people that are wealthy, over time, they just become more wealthy and wealthier. It's like, boom, and they just hit it. And Earl Nightingale talks about this on there too. He says that we think about men and people that are rich and successful, and they just become more rich and successful because they build off that momentum, and they never give up. Same thing with Michael Jordan, right? If you took look at any greats in, greats in history, he talks about like I wanted to be the greatest. I loved the game. I gave it my all. I never gave up. And fortune fav favors the bold. And lastly, you're gonna be always be optimizing. So at the end of my week, what I do is I sit down and do an end of week journal. I write down what I spent time doing. You know, it might have been how much time I spent working out, how much time I spent on my business, how much time I spent just doing this and that. And then I optimize, I sit down and like, okay, I'm spending way too much time here. There's not much of a return here, even for my health, even for my productivity, even towards, you know, setting myself up for financial freedom. And I, and going the week forward, I take that activity out or I reduce it to a minimum level. For myself right now, it's like, I want to remove things from my life. I've learned recently that successful people and productive people don't add things into their life. They actually remove things out. So what I've noticed in my last week is like, I was listening to a music maybe half an hour, 45 minutes per day. And that music's not really pushing me towards anything, right? It's not really reprogramming my mind for something, something great. So what I can do is I can replace that with audiobooks. I can replace that with reading throughout the day. It's little things like this you have to pick up in your life because no one's going to no one's gonna tell you this, right? Unless you hire a coach, unless whatever it is. You have to find someone that knows what they're talking about. And I've just been listening to people that are successful, that have done big things in life. And it's more about subtraction. Less is so much more in your life. Put your phone down. Set up like a screen time thing, right? Like if you're, if you're constantly scrolling through IG, try deleting the app for a week. You gotta do you gotta do stuff that is different from the norm. If if you're doing what everybody else is doing, you're gonna get the same results as as everybody else is getting. To become successful, you have to mimic success. And just rinse and repeat. Keep doing it. Persist. Never give up. Face your fears. And success is just a byproduct of that. I have a, I want to quote Earl Nightingale here. He says, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So success is not something that just happens and it, and it vanishes. It, it t keeps going. It's like momentum. So as you're becoming successful, you're going to have to face more and more fears. But you've already faced so many head on that you're like, that's nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to jump in and do it. 
And like the first day I took like a, uh, did a cold plunge. I was like, oh man, this, this is so shit. By the seventh day, I'm like, man, I can sit here for 10 minutes. And I did. First day was three and a half minutes. Last day was set, it was 10 minutes. That's the thing about your life. Think about your success. That's the thing about your momentum you build is that nothing goes unnoticed. Every single penny that you put away towards your success, it accumulates. And just keep 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 stacking those uh, successful days up. And if you have successful days, you have successful weeks. Successful weeks lead to successful months. And then you have a successful year. And then you're going to look back at your life and think, wow, that was a great year. I got so much shit done that year. And it's pushed me towards towards my goals. So that's what it is. Face your fears head on. Never give up. And always be optimizing. And that's the, the, all there is to it. And I wish you the best in this year. Just follow this. And write down what you want. Write down what you want this year. If you haven't done that already, I did that five days before New Year's. I wrote down what I wanted, how I'm going to get it. And now I just, I follow that every single day. Every single day I get up. You just have to know what you want, create a plan to get it, and persist till it happens. There's nothing more to it. Just do that and... 2024 might be one of the best years of your life. Peace.